Oscar one, your current location and situation? Oscar one, stand by. I will add Charlie one five. Copy that, thank you. Danger is everywhere, so you must take a closer look and report what you see. We can only keep animals safe if we look out for them all together. Something. There's something at the back. Maybe it's a rock. Maybe it's a rock. Yeah. I, no, I don't believe one. it's a rock. This one goes. I, I think I, I see a head. So whenever we see vultures, we have to check if um, there is an activity happening there, or maybe an, a lion has killed something, or poachers has killed rhino, because uh, we once had an incident where poachers killed the rhino, and they took the horn, then they cut branches and close the, 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 the carcass so that uh, it takes time for the vultures to spot it because definitely when we see a vultures activity we run there and if we arrive there in time then we will follow them and they just want to have enough time to run away so that's why we came down here to check if there is an activity but it seems like uh, the vultures were just relaxing on the tree Busy driving up and down. It's Friday night. People are going up and down. Poachers uh, might be driving here just to check the coast to see if mambas are on duty or not so that they can come inside. So, what we normally do, we drove and came this way to the main gate and now we're driving back. We don't want them to see us driving that side and never come back because they can use that opportunity to come inside. So we're driving up and down. So if we drive uh, heading that side and then they cut the fence and come inside, now as we're going there, we're going to find that spot. And then that's where we know that coaches are inside. But then we are focusing on uh, the fence line. I'm holding a spotlight on my hand where I'm shining it, advertising ourselves, showing the people that are driving here that we are here. We mean business and uh, I'm shining on top of the trees to check if there is nothing suspicious. I'm shining under the, bridge. Bridge. Under the bridge. drainage. Bridge. I'm shining on the fence line to check if the fence is okay. There's no cuttings. I also shine in the bushes to see if the animals didn't go out because you can hear the cars are driving fast. They can kill our animals. And then we also have to listen if there are dogs barking because sometimes we just come with dogs inside the reserve. We also use our nose to smell if there is a, uh, if someone is um, smoking. That's what uh, most of the poachers uh, use when they, when they come inside the reserve. So normally we would find a spot where we do an observation post, listen and watch the cars that are driving up and down. If we see, if we come across a car that has stopped on the main road, we, we stop our car. 
we, we, we greet them and ask them what's the problem why are they uh, why did they stop here is their car broken if there is anything that we can help with we call our um, our colleagues to come and assist them if we don't have like if they need water or oil or whatever to assist them so that they can drive and go we don't want to see cars parking here because you never know what they are looking for what they are aiming maybe they want to come inside or maybe they are waiting for people that are inside the reserve to come out and then they can pick them up So we're logging all the information, um, type of gun, how many shots, which, di which direction, distance. So the information that we're logging in now will automatically be sent to her so that she can see all the information that we just reported. Always listen out for danger. Make your time count. Take the watch. Look out for my films on how to be a virtual ranger. <laughs>